In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create these perfect wavy lines with symmetry using Affinity Designer. Now, typically you may think to use the pen tool to do something like this, and you could draw wavy lines using the pen tool as you see me doing here. But the problem with using the pen tool is that it's really hard to get these lines to be fluid and symmetrical, and this tool has a pretty steep learning curve to it. So I'm gonna show you a much simpler way in this tutorial. So getting started in a new document, the first thing I'm going to do is draw a circle. So I'm gonna grab my ellipse tool over here and I'm gonna click and drag on the canvas and I'm gonna hold the shift key so that we get a nice, perfectly round circle like that. And I wanna take this circle and come over here to the color tab. I want to remove the fill color. And then I wanna come over here to the stroke tab and give this a bigger stroke. So I'm gonna make this about seven points. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice off the top of this circle over here and use that curvature to generate my waves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my pen tool, I'm gonna press the letter P on the keyboard. You can also access it over here in the toolbar. And I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna click once to add a point and I'm gonna hold the shift key and bring the line straight through the top of the circle and click again to add another point. Then press the escape key to close the path. And now I'm gonna grab my selection tool. So at this point, what we're paying attention to is the area of the circle above this horizontal line right here, because this is going to represent the curvature of your wavy line. If I take this line and bring this all the way down here and use this as the cutoff point, we're going to have really steep curves in the wavy line. But if I bring the line up here, it's going to be really shallow curves in the wavy line. So the, the approach that you should use depends on your own preference, whichever type of wavy line you'd like to create. I'm going to place my line right about there. That's a happy medium. And then I'm gonna select both of these objects and I will go to Layer, Geometry, and I will choose Divide. And now we have this broken up into separate pieces. I'm gonna take this piece and move it out of the way. And then I'll take this piece right here, and or these pieces rather, and press the Delete key to get rid of them. So now I'm gonna take this piece right here and create a duplicate copy of it. I'm gonna hold my Option key if, if I'm using Mac, or if you're using Windows, it would be Alt and then click and drag while holding that key so that we have another copy. And then I'm gonna flip this vertically so that it's going the other way. And now I'm going to enable snapping by clicking this magnet icon right here. And I'm gonna snap this line to the other line right there, just like that. And then I will select both of these lines. I will come over here to the nodes tool and I wanna select these two nodes right here where the two lines connect and I wanna merge them together by clicking this button up here in the tool settings menu that says join curves when you hover your cursor over it. And now that has been joined together and we have one single wavy line. And all we have to do now is repeat this process. So I'm gonna grab my selection tool and I'm gonna move this over. Let me scale this down a little bit so I could add some more width to this line. And I'm gonna hold Alt or Option again and click and drag to create another copy. Snap it to the, snap to, snap the ends together like that. Select both paths. Let me readjust that actually. It didn't snap entirely. There we go. Select both objects. Go to your nodes tool select the two end nodes, merge them together. And I will repeat this process one more time just to demonstrate. I'm gonna hold my option key, click and drag to create a copy, snap them together. Let me zoom in to make sure that they are accurately snapped. There we go. Select both, go to the nodes tool and merge the nodes together. And there you go, just like that we have created perfect a perfect wavy line. And if you wanna make copies of this, you just hold Alt and click and drag it down and then press Command J or Control J over and over like that and there you go. So that's how you can go about creating perfect wavy lines using Affinity Designer. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.